especially if, if it's herbaceous plants or grasses they're gonna sort of die down if they get damaged it doesn't matter the root system is so strong and uh, new shoots are gonna come back mm. anyway so i'm quite happy to actually put it face down okay. because that's the way i'm gonna divide it face down right so just let it go down like that okay brilliant the next thing you can you can start just move it a little bit you can start by dividing it in two see how that goes in terms of uh, the resistance oh it's good that you observe the root the root system of a plant and see how healthy it is in this case it's lovely because it has roots everywhere on the outside and in the inside as well so the idea is that you put one fork in the middle towards not exactly in the middle but towards one side a little bit mm -hmm. way in you sometimes need to stand on it okay then you put the other one back all the way so it's like a visor yeah and now as you pull them mm. apart that's how they ride you might press it a bit further so you can hear the little cracks. I'm going to move it now towards one edge. Now this soil has been nice and moist, so it's kind of easy, and that's why you should sometimes be uh, you should sometimes water it the night before. Sorry, John. Sorry. Yeah, no, we watered it yesterday. You, you did. Oh, you knew exactly yeah. <laughs> the plant that I was going to dangerous. use for the demonstration. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move towards the other end now. <coughs> now, it's not always going to be this nice and easy. Okay, so at this point, you can by hand tease the roots out, and you can see how easy they come apart. Okay. Good woman. Great. All right. So as we leave it there, I'm going to divide the other in two again, and this process ends up loosening all the soil so much that you're going to be able then to do it by hand. So off you go. Crack. I love that crack. All right, perfect. Yeah. And as they come apart, you can then either bring this to the tunnel, whatever it is, and begin to tease this out by hand. Now, look at this. Each one of those, as I pull it, now that the soil is nice and loose, each one of these has that half a stem and half a root which is a rhizome. You know, half yeah, of it yeah. always sort of grows on the top and the other half at the bottom. And then these are the true roots of iris. I have here what we call an eye, which is from where a new bud uh, comes up. So that could be an individual plant on its own. So if you were to calculate how many individual plants would be here, if you were to put this in a pot now, yeah. It's, it's, you give it about six, six seven, seven months seven. and it would be already nice new shoots seven, around seven. it. You can sell it yeah. for a fiver. Yeah, yeah. Loads, loads of money. Monica, could you put that straight back it's into the ground now, yeah. separate it? Absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. Right. So if, even if you want to have the same maturity that you had originally, mm. you can get one of these clumps, like say this one now. Yeah, I put can it put in. it back in as it is, don't touch it. Okay. And then that donut effect is already finished. It's, yeah. it's, you'll have to wait another three years before you need to do mm -hmm. a drastic uh, division like this. But here, you see how individually and divided. And individually, you could put them all over the place you and can. they would spread in time. Absolutely. Yeah, <coughs> and you can put them on or whatever. See this one, for example, it has two in them. So if I cut through the stem, so I have now two. Okay. Right, so you can end up having hundreds of them. Do you so, put them for each pot? Yes, on, absolutely. Right so say yeah. after you pot it up, you would obviously remove any dead foliage like that. 
and then you can feel free to do this. Yeah. Yeah? Because all the energy that is in there will, will appreciate yeah. that. And a new shoot will then come, not only from here, but from any boat. Believe right. it or not, there's loads of boots in mm -hmm. there. Okay? And how long can you leave the roots exposed like that? Not a lot. Now today is kind of a dry day cool. and in no time it's going to be sunny. So you would want to be doing this right away. Okay. So I would bring this into the tunnel and on the workbench I would do all my divisions and I would have someone with me to put it on straight okay. away. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if you all want to uh, grab one section 